Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 17, Raw Materials from Objects. So, in Cataclysm, it's very important to craft items that are going to help you survive. And when you're going to craft an item, it does require raw materials to do so. And it's important to know how and where you can get raw materials. So, you can just smash things to create raw materials. So, I could smash up this counter for some wood products or the benches, things like that. I can also take apart the curtains here. If I examine them, I can tear them down, and that gets me some good raw materials. There are uh, two sheets that you can chop up into rags. There's a long string, which is used in many crafting materials, the heavy stick and the nails. So smashing or pulling apart things is one method. Another way is the disassembly screen. If we go to the construction menu here, if you're standing next to furniture items, you'll have an option here to deconstruct furniture. And you'll see here it has zero fab needed. Time to complete is 20 minutes, and it does take a couple of tools. So you need a hammering tool of two or more, and a tool with screwdriving of one or more. But if we pick that, and then pick the direction of the computer, we've just disassembled the computer. It took 20 minutes, so it takes longer than just smashing it, but you're going to get much better returns on what materials are going to come out of that. So, if you've got the time available, consider deconstructing furniture type items instead of just smashing them apart. You'll get better material yields. All right, another thing I want to talk about is just outside here. Two items I've put on the ground here. One is the large fire extinguisher. Early in my games, I'm always very excited when I find a large fire extinguisher, and that is because we can pick it up. And if we take a look at the details on it, right here it notes what this is made of and what you'll get if you disassemble it. And of note, it says one rubber hose and one steel jerry can. Very, very important and useful items. You can use the rubber hose and the jerry can to siphon gas or other fluids into the jerry can and transport them around. And the steel jerry can's got a very good capacity. So I always am very happy when I find a large fire extinguisher. Now it is going to take certain tools. So if we bring this menu up, you can see we have a disassemble choice here. And we're going to say yes to that. You'll get a message if you don't have the right tools to disassemble it. I believe it's the wrench to disassemble this one, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But just realize you will need some of the basic tools to do these things. But there we go. Steel jerry can and a rubber hose. So in one item, I've got the ability to go siphon fuel out of vehicles or to carry water around in a large capacity. Next thing is the lawn mower. So if we look at the details on a lawn mower, you can see what it's going to be available when you disassemble it. And of note, it has a metal tank. It's only a two liter tank, but that can be useful for various reasons and is used in mainly crafting recipes. And also it has two blades. So if you're trying to craft up certain bladed weapons, this is where you can get blades uh, pretty easily early game. So you want to look for stores that are likely to have a lawn mower in them. And that will get you that equipment. Another thing is vehicles. Vehicles are a great source of raw materials. So if we go to the examine screen for a vehicle, any of the seats, you usually will have seat belts. And if you remove a seat belt, like so, you can see that we get a short rope out of it. Short ropes can be broken down into strings, so they're a great way of getting strings and so on. And we can also go here. This is an APC, and the driver's seat in this one has a five-point harness, which is great. Put, put in your own vehicle that you're going to be driving around the apocalypse in, and it's much safer. But in addition, if you remove that five-point harness, you get a long rope, which can be broken down into five short ropes, and which can be broken down into strings, and so on. So it's actually a really, really good item that's very quickly and easily broken down into the more useful forms that you use for common crafting purposes. So I usually try to grab these anytime I'm passing one of these vehicles if I haven't already accumulated a good supply of these types of raw materials. There are other things in vehicles that can be useful. You can take apart seats for the leather. You can take apart lots of various things. But usually for quick reference or quick raw materials, it's the seat belts and the five-point harnesses that I'm grabbing. Uh, but don't forget to check vehicles to see what kinds of things you can get out of them. Hope you found this information helpful. As always, please visit in the next episode. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.